we're doing some cowboy boot news with Ariat here because this story has a lot to do with Ariat. Roll the intro. All right, so this week I found a story on Forbes about Boot Barn. Boot Barn is on track to double its retail footprint, buying up competitors along the way. Now, this is a story that's relevant to this giveaway because Ariat is the number one seller at Boot Barn and it's it's the number one selling brand. Currently, there are 251 Boot Barns in 33 states and uh, according to this article, Boot Barn plans to expand that by double in six years. So they want over 500 stores in the next six to seven years. Now, I find it really interesting that they're doing so well because the move of businesses going to online, you know, direct to consumer, similar to the way that Tacovas is doing it, um, and they don't have any middleman, Boot Barn is the middleman, but they aren't having any problems at all. Like their online competitors are not affecting them. So it's really interesting to look at this story. In fact, foot traffic in store. So people going to their stores has actually increased year over year over year. It just keeps increasing. More and more and more and more people are going to Boot Barn to try boots. And they're getting people to go to their stores in a very traditional way. Like they're focusing mainly on TV commercials and radio advertisements, which you would think wouldn't really work nowadays, but it's really working for Boot Barn. And I think part of the reason why people are going to Boot Barn is because it's really important to try on boots, right? Like we could talk about, oh, these are great priced boots online. You know, we could try these boots online and, and send them back all day long, but it's like there's something about the experience of actually going to a place, trying on a boot and saying, wow, this is really nice. This is exactly what I was looking for, or this is not what I was looking for, right? You get to go to a store, try a whole bunch of different brands, and find something that you're either surprised about or exactly what you were looking for. So they're doing really, really well, and they are continuing to grow and it's in their plan to grow that's why it was featured on Forbes which is pretty much a, a business website you know they cover business news and when I saw that Boot Barn and Cowboy Boots was covered on Forbes I was sort of surprised but Boot Barn is just doing so well because not only are they doing so much on the marketing end but they're also buying up competitors like in 2015 they bought up Shepler's, which increased their boot stores from like 176 to over 200 boot stores. And they rebranded the actual store, but they kept Shepler's.com. And you can still go to Shepler's.com. It's just run by Boot Barn. They did that back in 2015, but they plan on continuing to do this over the next seven years. And they plan on buying up like smaller independent Western boot stores it's a great business plan and it works for them because those independent boot stores already have a customer base that visits those stores frequently so they just buy up that store so that the people continue to go to that location to get their boots it's just, it's just they go instead of going to Sam's Boots they go to Boot Barn you know and they just rebrand the place um, so there is something that's it's this is a great business plan you know it, it's great this is america happening but the thing is as they continue to buy up places sometimes the customer loses out in a sense see as boot barn buys up some of the independent stores some smaller boot brands just disappear from those areas because maybe Sam's Boots carries a particular brand, maybe a smaller boot brand. And then Boot Barn comes in and buys up that location. That smaller boot brand 
can't supply Boot Barn with the amount of boots that they need as such a big retailer to fill all of their stores. So that means that they can't get in to Boot Barn. So for example, if Hondo, Hondo is a really good example. If you guys have been watching my channel for a little bit, you guys know I've learned about Hondo within the past year or so, and, and I've become quite a big fan of them. But the problem is, is that Hondo doesn't make a lot, a lot, a lot of boots. So Hondo is a boot brand that you can find pretty much in the independent brand stores. So when Boot Barn comes in and buys up those independent stores, Hondo disappears from those stores. So it's it's sort of a, a given, like it's good and bad. And Boot Barn doesn't need Hondo because they have brands that work for them and they have their own brands exclusive to Boot Barn, like Cody James. You can only find Cody James in Boot Barn or buy him online. And when those stores are bought, Hondo's removed. So they don't carry like any extra exclusive brands than the ones that they already do from store to store to store. So you kind of miss out on some of the extra little brands that might surprise you, sort of like Hondo surprised me when I went to the Country Square store in in Auburn, Washington, and I found Hondo for the first time. The, the, it, is, it was a very surprising brand, and those are the, the kind of surprises that that you go to boot stores to experience. So it's, it's, it's not good or bad. It's just um, that there are positives and negatives with these things. You know, I wish Boot Barn the best, and I also wish Hondo the best. Ariat is going to really benefit from this. I mean, if they're the number one selling brand in Boot Barn and Boot Barn gets like 500 stores in the next six to seven years, they're gonna be still the top selling brand selling so many boots. Um, it's gonna be awesome. But what do you guys think? What do you think about the Boot Barn growth? Do you have brands that you like that aren't carried in Boot Barn? And you see that as sort of a negative as they grow? Or do you see it as a positive because you like Boot Barn and that's where you go to get your boots anyway? So let me know down in the comments. Like I said, it's not good or bad as far as I see it. This is just business, right? This is how business works. So let me know what you think. Boot Barn continues to grow. They're not afraid to let us all know. But as they build and in new towns they show Where do some of these old brands go? Yeah, I wanna know where do some of these old brands go? My name is Jeremiah Craig. Thank you so much for watching today. I'll see you next time.